I think Carmen is is more simple than people actually make her. She is a woman who values her liberty and her freedom above everything else. This is the most important thing to her. So in the end, she really dies for these values. I think it's an opera that really includes a whole gamut of emotions and actions. Uh, we really take a journey in which we see, obviously, love, this uh, unrequited love story, but we also see a lot of jealousy, passion, anger, joy, comedy even. It, it is from the roots of opera comique. So it includes a really a gamut that many people in the audience can in some way relate to. But apart from that, in my opinion, Carmen is the first Verismo opera. Again, though it was originated in the opera comique, it, it's a story about a woman who is not a noble. She's She's a normal gitana. She's a gypsy, really. Um, and because of that, it, it takes us more into the Verismo qualities. And it's a story that perhaps more people can relate to in that way. Well, uh, you know, partially as a mezzo-soprano, this is, of course, a dream role for, for anybody who sings my repertoire. Uh, you know, most of the time in opera, the sopranos are the ones who have the leads in the opera. And in this case, uh, you know, Vizet has done us a great favor in writing a wonderful role for mezzo-soprano. But in my case particularly, my mother is Mexican and my father is Bulgarian. And I was born in the States. We traveled quite a bit. And I can remember from the time I was about three years old uh, playing Carmen with my brothers. One was Escamillo and one was the, the bull. <laughs> so we used to play around and of course I would sing the Carmen songs. I, I was familiar with the opera at a very young age thanks to my parents who exposed me to it. And you know as I've grown and become more interested in, in becoming an opera singer it's certainly been a dream come true for me to actually play this role on a stage.